Chitty Dach. Hello and welcome to the Nogama Village Mi'kmaq language program. Over the last several videos, you have learned how to break down larger words into syllables. You have learned how to count using abstract numbers, as well as numbers for animate and inanimate objects. Next, we learned numbers for ages, followed by days and months. Then you studied your colors and how the words changed for plural objects. Later in this series, you explored verbs, initially command verbs, such as bisqua, and how they applied to singular and plural subjects. Then you delved into verbs that ended in I. These I verbs lead towards a vast area that has yet to been covered, including EY verbs, and AY verbs. So, where do you go from here? To start, you may wish to read through the supplements from the previous and current series of our programs. Each provides many examples that we did not have time to cover in our videos and will allow you to build both your vocabulary and your comprehension. Try completing the various puzzles and games, which increase your ability to write in Mi'kmaq. But there are limits to what our texts can offer. So, for those that are ready for more, let us examine some external resources. Please keep in mind that while these online resources are available as of the time of recording, they may not always be accessible, or they may have changed from what you will see here. There are a number of Mi'kmaq speakers who make videos available to the public, most commonly on YouTube or Facebook. While you can simply do a search for them, we will highlight a few. In our previous series, we received language consultation from Curtis Michael, an educator and avid promoter of the Mi'kmaq language. Curtis has a YouTube channel with dozens of videos, which are freely available to view and to share. We would like to say a big walalin to Curtis for all his help and for encouraging others to embrace the language of the Yelnu. Savvy Simon, aka Savvy Unlimited, is another promoter of the Mi'kmaq and can be found both on Twitter and YouTube using the hashtag, hashtag speak Mi'kmaq. Many of her videos are very short and feature numerous people she's encountered each offering a brief phrase or sentence. This gives you the great opportunity to hear many different voices, which will aid in your comprehension. Another great promoter of the language is Alwyn Jajor. He is involved in a number of online communities and has a small collection of videos available on YouTube. Although he is quick to point out that he is not a teacher, his videos provide some excellent examples of basic Mi'kmaq. Many of these words you will have encountered throughout our videos, so hearing another voice speak them will help aid in your comprehension. Later in this video, we will discuss the many resources made available through the First Nations Help Desk. But to start, check out the videos they have posted on Vimeo. You will hear speakers of all ages from around Mi'kma'ki. While much of this content is in English, it provides a great insight to the Mi'kmaq people and their culture. Uktilasi Mi'kma'ki is a podcast that features stories related to the Ulnu of Mi'kma'ki. It features a mix of English and Mi'kmaq speech over 30-minute episodes. While the Mi'kmaq may go beyond your comprehension level, it does allow you to listen to fluent speakers and train your ear. Later in this video, we will discuss books, including some from Say It First. But this organization also has a collection of videos available on YouTube. Some of these videos are narrations of the books, in fact, which will allow you to listen along as you read. Although aimed at children, they make for great introductions into the language. For the curious, they also have videos in the other languages, including Maliseet and Ojibwe. Moving into other online resources, there are social networking groups where speakers can share their knowledge and practice with each other. If you're on Facebook, 
there are both public and private groups available. The Mi'kmaq language learners is a group that developed out of the Bay St. George Mi'kmaq language and culture incentive. In this group, members will each watch a video, after which they will respond with their own video. It provides great support for those just starting with the language. The Mi'kmaq Living Dictionary is a private group on Facebook, and as such, you have to be invited in, featuring speakers from all over Mi'kmaq and abroad. This group discusses assorted words and phrases and their meaning. In particular, this provides great insight into RDV, Regional Dialectal Variation. As you can see and hear how much the words change as you move across Mi'kmaq territories. In their own words, the Talking Dictionary Project is developing an internet resource for all Mi'kmaq language. Each headword is recorded by a minimum of three speakers. Multiple speakers allow one to hear differences in variation in how a word is pronounced. Each recorded word is used in an accompanying phrase. This permits learners the opportunity to develop the difficult skill of distinguishing individual words when they are spoken in a phrase. While this site uses Lichtiguch orthography, it does provide you the opportunity to search for words and hear them spoken by fluent speakers. This also illustrates RDV as not only will spelling and pronunciation vary, but you will hear very different words from what you have heard in our videos. For example, while we use the word meowj for cat, on this site it is known as gajuidj. Jalabdor is a collection of resources featuring audio files, interactive talking posters, photos, videos, and much more. In their words, this website was initially designed for use with the Nova Scotia Department of Education Grade 7 Mi'kmaq curriculum. However, this website will ultimately be of use to all Mi'kmaq and non-Mi'kmaq educators who are endeavoring to teach Mi'kmaq language and culture. Jalapdoch, the word, means he or she is making or leaving footprints. A website designed to preserve and promote Indigenous languages. You will find Mi'kmaq among the other many Algonquin languages. The Mi'kmaq section of the site is more a collection of other resources as opposed to a primary resource, but this provides you with a great hub for furthering your education. This site is another excellent hub for learning more about the Mi'kmaq language and culture. Featuring assorted projects and resources, you will find a series of lessons for learning the basics of the language, along with songbooks, posters, books, and much more. You will also find links to the smartphone and tablet apps, which we will be discussing later in this video. In their words, this is a website for learning the Mi'kmaq language online. It can be used independently or to supplement a classroom learning. In each section, you will find units consisting of lessons on related topics. In each lesson, you will learn new vocabulary, practice short dialogues, and do exercises to practice what you have learned so far. You will be able to listen to recordings of different Mi'kmaq speakers so that you can practice listening and speaking in Mi'kmaq above all else. One thing to note, this is based upon the Listikuch dialect and will be different in small and large ways from the content in our lessons. To progress further in the language, you may consider looking at Cape Breton University. Their Indigenous Studies Department has a free online course called Learning from the Knowledge Keepers of Mi'kma'ki. This includes a series of 10 lectures made available through Vimeo. First devised by two elementary school teachers, this website features resources based on many of the languages you will hear from the territories of Mi'kma'ki to that of the Haida Gwaii with audio samples and art gallery, games and more. This site will allow you to practice what you have already learned and branch out further into the language. This is an online dictionary, which allows you to translate between two languages. Although Mi'kmaq is not one of the defaults available, 
you can access it by clicking the link marked More Languages. While it does not contain audio at the time of this recording, it does allow you to access numerous words and phrases. Mi'kmaq Yinamat Noe is organized by a team of people who seek to educate and to maintain and revitalize the Mi'kmaq language. Their programs are designed for various age levels and include written resources available for download. The TLE Center produces books and other printed materials such as posters, all focused on the Mi'kmaq language education. While many of the basics have been covered in our video series and written supplements, this site will allow you to access storybooks which you can use to build your comprehension with the language. Using the hashtag, hashtag Mi'kmaq, at the time of the recording brings up two galleries. The first features short videos with Trevor Sandipas, while the second shows the process of building a wigwam in a series of pictures and short videos. This process provides a glimpse into the homes that Mi'kmaq people built for themselves using traditional materials and techniques. Trevor's videos, on the other hand, focus on basic words and phrases for everyday conversation. As you will have encountered most or perhaps even all of these words, it provides a great opportunity to hear another voice in order to train your ear. There are a variety of applications available for those who use smartphones and tablets, many of which will contain audio samples from fluent speakers. If you search the Apple App Store or Google Play for Mi'kmaq Ginomat you will be provided with a list of more than a dozen options. Start with El Nui Sudi, which contains common words and phrases, and Dal Daluin. This second app allows you to build phrases with the language and hear them spoken. You can even copy and paste these phrases into messages. From there, you can explore the other apps from this developer, including their interactive stories. This includes Winnegit, who lives there, which is all about farm animals and includes spoken words and phrases. Gabriel Najie Suegit is another story, this one written by Helen Silliboy, about a father and a son spending the day digging clams. And there are a number of others to look for, including Gigwaju Ach Muin, Malian Ach Wigalatamuj, and even Mi'kmaq versions of books written by popular children author Robert Munch. While not all the apps are available on both Apple and Android platforms, there are enough of each to help further your education in Mi'kmaq. And there are apps from other developers that are designed for learning any language. One such example is Quizlet, an app that allows you to design flashcards to practice with. Mary Ann Metallic from Listikuch has already created a series of introductory level cards, including recordings. While the Listikuch dialect may differ in sound and spelling, these cards will still provide you with another voice to listen to and another method of memorizing your vocabulary. Many of the resources we have listed in this video are also available in print form. We will list just a few in this video, but there are many more to be found in the supplement. First, a book co-written by one of our language consultants and one of the people behind the Smith Francis orthography, Bernie Francis, along with John Hewson. He wrote the Mi'kmaq grammar of Father Pacific. This text provides insight into how the system we use for writing Mi'kmaq came to be. The language of this land, Mi'kma'ki, was also co-written by Bernie Francis, this time with Trudy Sable. This book is an exploration of the Mi'kmaq worldview expressed in language, legends, song, and dance. As such, it provides a rich resource for your comprehension of the language. There are dozens of texts and storybooks available, too many to list but one that you may wish to grab to increase your vocabulary is the Mi'kmaq English Lexicon, produced by the Mi'kmaq Ginamat Nomoy and available for download. It offers translations of individual words 
and phrases along with songs and more. Refer to the supplement for our full list of books, but remember, there are likely many more out there. Be sure to check with some of the organizations we have mentioned to find out what else is available. Wellalioch to all that have participated in the Nogama Village Mi'kmaq language program. Wellalioch as well to all of those who assisted in the production of this series. And finally, Uppa Wellalioch to Ida Denny and Bernie Francis for all their assistance. <laughs>